my favorite time of the year is springtime and here it is we've approached spring again and so i was reading an article recently where they were talking about the scientists now can revive dead cells right i think they did it in a mouse a mouse's brain they're finding out how to tinker with dna oh also the scientists have found out how to make lifelike machines on a dna size scale and these machines can grow and they can also die and they can decompose but they're still machines they don't have an actual spirit in them but they mimic life all of the stages of life to appear to grow to, to stick around for some while to grow um they want to get them to the point where they can produce byproducts or reproduce on their own so we're talking about now we're really talking about self-replicating machines and they're based on DNA. Like, I can't even begin to imagine how far that technology can go. <clears throat> but what's interesting is that they've also found out how to reanimate dead brain cells. And it all brought me to the thought that um, there's a science called Sanjivani Vidya. So back in the days when there was a churning of the milk ocean, you needed the demigods and the demons to come together to do this project because it was a very big project. And I don't know, but lately I've been talking about the churning of the milk ocean a lot. And the churning of the milk ocean also has to do with the churning of the human spirit and the churning of the pages of the Srimad Bhagavatam. Okay, good. So this churning of the milk ocean the demigods got their gift, which was Amrita. Amrita is the nectar of immortality. Um, I don't know if I mentioned it on another video, but there's a lot of people on the internet who believe, I think I did mention it, who believe that vaginal fluid is Amrita, but that's not really true. Vaginal fluid may be a pleasant thing, but Amrita means A without Mrita, death or mortality. So anything that gives you this specific liquid that gives you immortality is called Amrita and the demigods got that. And it's not real immortality, it's false immortality because you just live a very, very long time but you don't live forever. Okay, boom. Like how the demigods got the Amrita, the demons also had their science given to them by their sage and that science was called Sanjivani Vidya. So a demon could be decapitated, could be crushed, could be burnt. They know how to take their constituent particles and regenerate their body. And we see the same thing happening with our modern scientists of today. They don't know how to extend life or prolong life. They only know how to increase death. All of their technology always leads to bad things and I'm gonna tell you why. So everything in the universe is based on intention, intent, life. Life has its own intentions. Sometimes life can go in a negative direction. Sometimes it can go in a positive direction. And sometimes it can take a third route, which is the transcendental direction. That's under the domain of Sri Krishna. So if you invent a car just for your material senses, or I need to get from point A, to point B, you're just trying to please your body. And as a result, you have byproducts like uh, lead poisoning in the atmosphere or ozone smog, smoke pollution. But when you do things with Krishna in mind, the result is often different because you're doing things for his loving servant. Remember, all living entities are just particles and we are particles, we are eternal individuals. But our eternal nature is to serve Krishna with love and devotion or who you call God with love and devotion. Anything else is actually a waste of time because you're chewing the cud. If you do things to serve your fellow man or to serve your body, you're just creating an endless cycle called samsara. You're never gonna get out of this birth, death, old age, and disease. When we do things for Krishna, because Krish means the cycle of birth and death, and Na is the one who removes. When we work for Krishna, when we invent for Krishna, it actually facilitates the removal of death. Believe it or not, anything you do for Krishna is gonna bring about a reversal of death. 
And anything you do for yourself or your body or your friends, your family, your nation is going to bring forward death. You understand? So we want to reverse death by doing things for Krishna. Now, when these scientists are creating these chimeras, chimera, C-H-I-M-E-R-A, and it's a genetic, uh, chimera is a mixture of two parts that don't necessarily match or belong. Like you want to mix.